Hey guys, Madrew up here, and welcome to the seventh video now in our 2D Java platform series. And today we're going to be letting our player touch the wall. As we noted last time, we added some graphics into the game, and our player he can't touch the wall. He's too far. He's too far away because our player is not a big green square anymore. I want him to be able to touch the wall. You know, I want to get, let him touch it, but he can't. And uh, I think that's just a shame. He also floats a bit now because of that as well. So we're going to shrink his hitbox down so he can touch the wall. All right. So what prevents us from touching the wall? That is that is the first question you should be asking yourself. Um, so let's go to our player and take a look, right? So as we run, right, we can get close to the wall, right? But we can't go past zero. Now, if we could, so this is going to the right. So if it's greater than two, but let's say if it's greater than four, right? What if it's greater than four? What happens then? All right, so this is going to the right or to the left, right? So greater than four else, uh, we need to put this. If this is less than zero, plus plus, else put it to four. Uh, da, 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 da. How, hmm. I don't think we need this if statement. Let's get rid of this if statement real quick. Control shift F. Yep. Reformat a little bit here. And let's see what happens to us going to the right, right? Yeah, right now. So now, oh, we can almost touch it. The only problem is now, instead of going to four, we go to zero. So if we go to four here, we can now touch the wall. Well, would you look at that? We can now touch the wall. Although, now we have problems with our collision, because we can touch the wall to our right, but not to our left. So, now, instead of just putting in 4 here, I'm actually going to come up here and put a private int, and I'm going to call it padding left, padding right, and padding top. Alright, and I'm going to initialize all these, so padding left is equal to 4, right? And might, these might have to be negative, one of these might have to be negative, we'll find out as we go. Padding right will be 4 as well, and padding top, not private, padding top. I'll set it to 2, because in my drawing, I got 2 pixels here when he's just standing. When he's not, he touches the top, but we're going to be having a padding of 2 on top. So... If we come in here, so this should be padding left. Actually, this should be padding right. And padding left will have to be negative. Yeah, padding right. Padding right. And we'll do the same thing down here. We're going to actually get rid of this if statement because we do not need it. As we have found out, simplifying our code a bit, always good to do. It's padding left. And padding left. Make that negative. So now, when we come down, we touch it on the left and we touch it on the right. But we still have a problem with our collision because now we can't go up because we have a block ahead of us, which is no good. But yeah, so we're going to have to modify some code a bit. So here, when we jump up, right, we're test, we're texting, we're Checking the block above us and the block to our left and block to our right. Now here's the problem, you see. Um, this will ch We only want to check the block above us, but before we were only checking it if it was exactly above us, i.e. our offset, zero was, was zero, right? So now we have the problem of, oh no, our offset could be less than uh, negative uh, four to four or padding left to padding right. So that's negative four to four, where we only want to check the, the block above us and not the block to our sides. So this sigma right here, right? Um, I'm going to put, I could do an in statement. Yeah. What is going on here? Get block position. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, for some reason there, I was blanking on what I was reading. Okay, so here's our little guy right here, but I'm going to say 
This is greater than math dot absolute of offset x is greater than padding left. Well, I mean, it would be padding right. But our padding left and padding right could be different. We could have a bit more padding on our left than on our right. Oh. Um, this would work if we have the exact same padding on both sides. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to have it so that you have to have the same padding on both sides. So uh, we might just call it padding then. <laughs> we don't need a left and right padding. Let's call it padding. Get rid of this and just call it padding and have it four. Copy the padding, 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 and this is padding, padding, but this will be negative padding and this is padding. So what I want here is padding. So if our absolute of padding is greater than four, question mark, give us offset x, else, I mean, Question four, give us offset x or zero. So this inline if statement here will take our absolute of offset x, right? And if it's greater than four, or that should be padding, then it will just give it offset x. And then offset x will be put in the signum and it'll give us negative one or one depending on what offset x is. But if it is less than our padding, it'll return zero and signum will return zero. And therefore, it'll check only the block above us. Sounds simple, right? Yep. Sounds simple to me. So, let's uh, copy this here. And we'll put it over here as well for going down. And now, when we come over here, we now fall and we can jump while being next to our wall. We have now made our guy smaller. So, he can actually wibble between two blocks he should be a lot easier to move around as well now because his collision box is a lot smaller his height is still the same height but we can actually get closer to like this stalactite here the stalagmite i don't know which one's hanging down but we can get closer to it than we could before and we just have general our uh, hitbox is just a lot smaller so our player doesn't collide so much with the terrain and he can get nice up and hug it now you can increase the padding as much as you want all the way up to I mean, you could go all the way up to half of the tile size, so all the way up to eight. But four seems like a good number to me. Actually, five would have them up close. As um, in my drawing here, there's five pixels to the edge, so it may look better with five. Actually, let's go. Let's go for five. Actually, adding for five. Save and run. So that he gets a bit closer. And it probably feels even better now that his uh, box is a lot smaller. But we still got the problem of our, our head box is still a bit taller than we are. We can't actually jump very high. We can jump, but we can't. We don't get very close to the ceiling when we jump, as you can see here. We don't actually touch the ceiling. It looks a little weird. Over here, we actually touch the wall. So let's add in our, pat, our uh, padding for top, which is two. Now, the only place we have for uh, padding for top is if we're jumping, which is right here. So if our padding is less than padding top, it's actually gonna be negative. Then our offset Y is equal to negative padding top. And that should do it. That should be the only thing we have to modify for the top padding. So if we come in here, I can now actually jump. Look at that. So now my collision detection on the top I can actually like hit the ceiling now it is a lot nicer so he moves more easily through the terrain he doesn't get stuck on everything and feels a lot nicer in general so there we go we have adjusted the hitbox on our player to make the collision a lot nicer I think for the next episode we're not going to fix the shooting yet. Um, we've we've been doing collision detection, and I want to keep going on that path. So right now we have static tile box that we can stand on. But what about moving platforms? What about those? Which is actually a little bit of a difficult topic. But I think we can handle it. So 
we're going to hop into moving platforms for the next episode, which will be fun. <laughs> and a lot of debugging, probably. So prepare for that. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.